Hello everyone, hello Proton 6, it's Frank, your English teacher. How are you today? Me, I'm fine, happy to be with you for a new weekly lesson. So let's talk about the lesson first. First, Jen's picnic. So you will take your book and open it, page 13. So here it's a work about reading. So take your time about the pronunciation so you will follow me. Then you have three questions to answer. So please make sentences. That's the most important point. Okay. And in the second part, at the supermarket, so you will open your book page 14, going shopping at the supermarket. So you will see you will have some text and five questions. So I ask you to take your time and make nice sentences and explain your results. Uh, you will see you must calculate. Uh, you have uh, 100 in your pocket, so you give to the cashier, you will see, okay? So explain how, to, how you have the results, okay? So don't write on the book, take some paper and a pencil or a pen, okay? It will be better to write on the book because it will be a bit dirty if you must erase and something like that. So don't write on the book, it's better, don't write. Okay, we start. So first open your book page 13, okay? So I start to read, you follow me? Uh, try to read this text two times, okay? Two times, it's okay, it's enough. Jane is going for a picnic this afternoon. Shopkeeper. Good afternoon, Jane. Good afternoon, shopkeeper. Can I help you, Jane? I will have a loaf of bread a can of cookies, a jar of jam, and a carton of milk. How much are they, shopkeeper? They are 150 baht. Jay, here is 200 baht. Shopkeeper, thank you. Here is 50 baht change. Okay, so we read that two times. Then we have three questions. So you know the rules. Click and pause. Try to make the exercise. And after I give you the answer. Ah, sorry. Just take a look on the groceries. Okay, go on Google Translate to understand what is groceries. Okay, it's important. Okay, so about the question sorry i go back what does jane buy jen buys because third person so don't forget the s a loaf of bread a can of cookies a jar of jam and a carton of milk question number two how much are the groceries? So you check all what she bought and you have the answer. The groceries cost 150 baht. Okay, so you make, you add everything. Uh, sorry, you don't have, you just have to take a look on the shopkeeper because the shopkeeper said they are 150 so that's the cost of everything obviously number three so i just wait for my screen how much is jane's change so the shopkeeper asked 150 jane give so gave past simple gave 200 so obviously it's 50 baht, 200 minus 150. Jane's change is 50 baht. Okay, 
understand about this? I think so. Now we can go on the next exercise. So, page, my screen, page 14. Okay, so the same. You read the questions and you try to answer. So, I asked you previously, please make sentences and explain how you found the results. Okay? So, try your best. Good luck. And we meet for the answers. So, here are the answers. So, I asked you to make sentences and explain your results. So, I show you how you can do it. Number one, so I will read the question. Uh, here it's an exercise of pronunciation too, so train to read. Samsi wants to buy a carton of milk and a bag of rice. How much will she pay? Samsi will pay 120 baht. Because I explain my results. A carton of milk is 25 baht, plus a bag of rice is 95 baht. So 95 plus 25 give you 120. It's okay with that? Okay. Number two, I go back to some see as 500 baht. How much change will she get? Answer. So she asked 500 baht. She gave past simple of the verb to give. So she gave 500 to the cashier. Okay. Take it. She will get 380 baht. Yes, because the cost of the items, the cost of the groceries are 120 and she gave 500 so 500 minus 120 so the cashier or the shopkeeper must give you 380 bucks okay number three john would like to buy a dozen eggs a box of ice cream and Two cartons of milk. How much will he pay? So just uh, a, a fast explanation. A dozen, it's 12 eggs. Dozen, 12 eggs. So let's take a look. Let's take a look, sorry. So John will pay 165 baht. So a dozen eggs cost 42 baht plus a box of ice cream costs 73 bats plus two cartons of milk. So one carton is 25 bats. So two cartons are, sorry, 50 bats. Yes. Woo. So if you add all those groceries, it's 165 bats. Okay. Next. Number four. Jack intends to buy a jar of jam, a can of cookies, and a bottle of soft drink. How much will he pay? So, first, intends. So he wants to. Okay. I will, I will buy, so I will buy, I intend to, okay? So number four, let's take, let's check the answer. Jack will pay 112 baht. So a jar of jam, 30 baht, plus a can of cookies, 50 baht, plus a bottle of soft drink, 
32 bats equal 112 bats. It's okay. It's the last one. Your mother gives you 180 bats. I'll look at you how. <laughs> she wants you to buy some rice. She also lets you buy one thing you want. What will you buy? How much are they? Okay, so your mother gives you 180 bats. She asked you to buy a bag of rice. So the bag of rice is 95 bats. So let's take a look. So I have in my pocket, because mom gave me 180 bats. So in my pocket or my wallet, it depends on huh? what you prefer. So I buy the rice 95 bats. And me, because they asked you she also lets you buy one thing you want. So one thing, not two, not three, not four, one. So you must choose what you want, one item. So me, teacher Frank, I choose, I buy a cake, 85 baht, because it's my sister's birthday, okay? I explained uh, how much are they? So I gave the price. The price of the cake is 85 baht. It's really not expensive, <laughs> really not. Okay, so I explained why. And obviously I have 180 baht in my pocket. So I can buy this cake. I can because I have enough. Okay, I have enough. So it's okay, I can go back home with the bag of rice for mom and the cake for my sister's birthday. Marvelous. Okay, good. For today, the lesson is over, okay? So I hope you learned many things. Make a review if you have some difficulties to explain your results okay if you have some difficulties about uh, pronunciation so try to read as often as possible okay so first good job okay learn well and we meet next week for a new lesson bye bye have a good week see you next week